is time for another review. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys stopping by and taking a visit. Today we are going to take a look at the Mysterio figure and also Mysterio's drones uh, from Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, obviously, as you can see, these are the Hot Toys versions of these figures. And uh, I, as soon as I saw them, I just needed to pick them up. And I thought it would be appropriate to do a review for both, both of these at the same time, considering that the drones really belong to Mysterio when it comes to the film. Uh, I did not purchase the Spider-Man that came from that movie. Uh, simply because I only buy what I like and not always what's available. So, but I do have uh, some other Spider-Man figures that we're going to do later in some comparisons uh, at the end of this video. And then, of course, we'll jump into some photos that we're going to show with uh, the drones and Mysterio and Spider-Man and all that good stuff. So, uh, without getting all jumbled up with a bunch of mess and everything, we'll go ahead and we'll unbox Mysterio, take a look at him and all the accessories that he comes with, and then we'll jump straight into the drones. Let's check it out. Okay, so we got this guy out of the box, and we're going to go ahead and take a look. Now, I have to say I was pretty excited about getting this Mysterio figure because when it comes to Spider-Man and all of his villains or whatever, I got to say that uh, Mysterio is one of my favorites. Um, my top favorite when it comes to Spider-Man villains um, I would have to say Craven the Hunter is, is really uh, my number one. Uh, so I'm really hoping at some point we will see him uh, in some form or another. Uh, so we have, first off, these are the smoke effects that uh, come with the figure. And uh, we're going to obviously put those together, put it in the full display to see how they look all together. But as you can see, there's like some different lighting effects there so you can see they kind of put different color greens in there so it doesn't look like one solid color so that's always pretty nice and you can see they're flat on one side so basically you put them in two different spots as far as having the smoke go all around as it did in the film so we're definitely going to take a look at that and then he also has these other effects here that, that go into his hands for when he was using his so-called powers or whatnot. Uh, I think these are very similar to what it looked like for um, Doctor Strange. For the effects that he had where he, they literally made it where you could just slip his hands right in. And that's how he holds it. So uh, I think, yeah, that's a pretty cool effect. And, you know, instead of the fire, it was kind of like a green flame that was around there. Something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's a cool effect. So we'll be definitely trying that out. Um... Let's see if we can get the figure out. This is because it uh, has a cape attached. Um, it's very similar to how they do the Spider-Man and the Batman. Where when you have the figure, the cape is actually tucked in behind the plastic. So without creating as much of a mess as possible. Let me see if I can slide that out. This is uh, really what you guys will be experiencing if you ever get this uh, figure. Or if you already have it, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So let's see if we can carefully get it out. He's got uh, the dome on instead of just the head scope. That's something that's next to it. But let's see if we can get this guy out here. It's taped in from the from the back, which you can kind of see. There you can see that there, how it's just uh, in the back there. So it makes it a little bit difficult to get out. But, I mean, that's... It's overall it's good packaging because you know it can protect the cape from getting all messed up or squished up or anything like that. So let's see if we can get it out here. There we go. All right. So as you can see, there's the cape. Which, that was the other thing that grabbed my attention about this cape. I just really love the design of it. It's really cool looking. 
So pretty much all the effects that showed in the cape. I like the little split down the middle there in the back. And there's a wire in it as well. So you can really have some fun with the cape and have it drape however you like. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. This is the head sculpt for the dome effect. It's really cool when it comes to the armor. Uh, but this is another thing that, that you'll see when it comes to like Hot Toys, the way they do certain things like this. Uh, they did the same thing for um, one of the Batman figures that I have. Uh, and it's just when you have this effect, it's very hard to put any kind of, you know, any kind of poses or anything because this piece itself just restricts it. Uh, I don't know if, if it's possible if it can be done this is just a suggestion but uh sometimes what can work is when you actually make a split in each section so that when you pose them they look like it's you know one piece all together uh but then when you do crunches because there's a split you can kind of move it um a little bit so you know i've, I've heard some people do that when it comes to the batman figure they just kind of make cuts into it so that where the whole thing stays so when it's they're sending the figure up you can see everything all together in one piece and then if they want to do any kind of crunches or anything like that because the body underneath this moves you know moves like a regular uh body would with the ab crunches and everything else it's just the suit itself that restricts it so i've heard people make cuts into the batman suits so that when they do the crunches they can and then when they bring it back up you can see it's all back to one piece. Uh, so I've heard some people do that. I'm not sure if you can really do it with this because it's kind of intricate when it comes to the design. But uh, yeah, just a suggestion of what some people can do. Here's a nice little design for the cape around the collar there. So I, I really like it. I like this design. Everything as far as the detail in it, I think it looks uh, looks really good. So we definitely have some fun with it. So. You have that there, and I've heard some things about this uh, particular head scope, um, and so it's be kind of interesting to see this in hand. So I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it online already, but there is another close-up of it. And again, it's the same thing with Hot Toys. I, I'd say regardless of what the character looks like, uh, it's just a lot of these head sculpts, they come with the same stern look. <laughs> so you really can't do a lot with it. And so when it comes to posing, that's the one thing that just makes it difficult. You really can't do any kind of dynamic poses because if you try to do them with some, you know, crazy pose or whatnot, uh, it just has this same serious look and it just kind of takes from the effect of trying to get it in a pose. But at the same time, I can understand because there are so many people out there that the moment something has changed about a head scope, then they want to complain about how it doesn't look right and it wouldn't make this face. And, you know, so it's just kind of difficult. So it's like you can't please everybody, but, you know, you you do what you can. But either, either way, I think uh, it still looks good. Uh, I think it's a good sculpt. I mean, if nothing else. I'm not a professional sculptor, so whatever this person did is definitely better than what I could do. <laughs> so I'm still thankful for the head scope and uh, it's greatly appreciated. So yeah, there's a closer look of that. And here we have some other pieces that you can swap out for the cape. Uh, I believe this is for if you wanted to pose them with the cape off, you can have these other pieces on there, similar to what they did with the uh, Thor figure. Uh, where you can take the cape off and these things you would just place on the body to take place so that you don't see that empty space where these would be with the cape on and off. So you have uh, you have those. And we'll take a look at the hands that we got here. So these are the open hands. These are the hands that you would see for the uh, for holding those green effects that I showed earlier. Uh, so you can really just slide those fingers right into the areas that they need to be in order to hold the pieces up. So we're definitely going to be taking some pictures with that. 
And lastly, we have the fisted hands. Which we, pretty good as far as the detail in that. I think they look uh, really well sculpted, really well done. So we'll definitely see what we can do when it comes to some pictures with this. And the other thing that he comes with is actually a set of batteries, which I believe it places into the head scope. Uh, I'm sorry, the dome, so you can give that lighting effect. So we'll definitely take a look at that and see uh, how well that comes out. But before we go any further into anything, um, we will go ahead and get the drones out. Uh, oh, one last thing, I'm sorry. So this is actually the uh, stand that you put for, like, for getting a fly effect. So he comes with... A bendy stand so again that's something that we're going to be definitely uh trying out and using uh for our photos and whatnot um so yeah other than that uh we have the display base at the bottom I, i'm going to get that out in a moment um but let's go ahead and take a look at the drones and uh see the detail in that let's take a look okay so here we have mysterio's drones I thought these things would be just really cool to get with the figure. Uh, I mean, for those of you who really know my photos and things, I don't really do a whole lot of uh, pictures. Um, sorry, I really do a whole, a whole lot of pictures that uh, come, you know, that are based off of the movie. I really don't try and do a lot of recreations of scenes. I mean, if you want to see those scenes, look at the movie. <laughs> so I don't really do a lot of that stuff. Um, but... Uh, from time to time, I do that, and I use some of the accessories and things that come with it. I think they're pretty cool. Um, so I pick these up, and uh, I'll be using these for some other things as well, but I just like the detail in it, and I thought the drones themselves in the movie was actually pretty cool, and they can definitely be used for some other things. So we'll start with the small ones, so you can see the detail in that. I think they're really well done. I mean, that's one of the things I like about uh, Hot Toys. They definitely do put attention to detail into things like this. Um, so I really appreciate that kind of stuff. The paint job is really well done. The uh, You can see kind of like some weathering effect on it, like it's been, you know, scratched and things like that. Like it's actually been through a little bit of battle, so that's pretty cool to see. So you have this one here, and let's see, we got another one. This uh, one is also the same size, so it's pretty much the exact same uh, exact same drone. But nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. You got two you could choose from, so that's uh, pretty cool. There's no lighting effect on it, so you know it's just there, uh, but it still looks uh, pretty good. And then we have the big fella right here, which. Uh, that looks really good i think the whole design the whole paint job of it is really well done with all of the guns and uh rockets and whatnot uh all the different fans that are on the bottom i think the detail on that is really good so we could definitely get some cool stuff out of this uh i mean like i said i don't have the uh, spider-man that came with this movie but i do have some other ones so we could definitely pose uh, some Spider-Man figures on top of it. Um, so yeah, I do have Spider-Man Homecoming. I will say that. I do have that because I do like the outfit that comes on that one. So, and here is the display base that he comes with. So I think it's a pretty cool uh, design on that. Pretty cool effect. And lastly, the stuff that he comes with, uh, that the drones come with, excuse me, is the little display that you can put all three drones on so yeah so i think this is a cool accessory that's one thing about me which is another thing that some of you know me uh i'm really big on accessories uh, accessories just really add to uh the photo when it comes to things that are going on uh they just allow the things to look more lifelike when it comes to accessories and not just the figure itself. They just add to the photo. And so I really, uh, really enjoy that. So, yeah. So let's actually do 
a little comparison with uh, Mysterio to some other Spider-Man figures that we have. And uh, then we'll uh, unleash some photos. And you can take a look at all the stuff accessories. Uh, so let's take a look now. So here we are. We have a comparison with my Spider-Man figures. Uh, along with the uh, Far From Home, I'm sorry, Spider-Man Homecoming <laughs> and the Far From Home Mysterio. Uh, sometimes when Hot Toys makes figures based off of video game characters, the characters sometimes are made a little bigger than your, you know, normal size characters from like they, they make from like movies or whatnot. So you can see that these figures are just slightly bigger than the Tom Holland Spider-Man but still shorter than the Mysterio, uh, just when it comes to the dome and whatnot. And this is mainly what I'm going to be using him for, just to create other scenes outside the movie, because it's just Mysterio. And that was the main reason why I got it, because I, I like Mysterio and just the whole um, Sinister Six and, you know, all that stuff when it comes to those particular characters. So I think they're they're pretty cool. So, yeah, that's the reason why I... Uh, pick them up we'll see what kind of photos we can uh come with but uh yeah you can see just the site uh, height and everything as far as you know how tall they are just in case you may have these figures and interested in maybe getting him to do what i do as far as you know having something just outside of the cinematic universe and just comic universe so yeah let's go ahead and jump right into some photos see what we can come up with these guys I thank you now for tuning into the channel. I greatly appreciate all your comments and you subscribers and everything. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for hitting notifications so that you're notified when I upload my videos. You guys are all greatly appreciated. So let's jump into the photos and we'll see you next time.